Welcome to River City Folk. I'm your host, Tom May. My guest this week is Jack Gladstone from Montana, Native American of Blackfeet heritage, singer, songwriter, lecturer, and storyteller. Thanks for joining us. In the long ago time, our people depended upon the Chinook wind, that warm, dry west wind, to come and blow and warm ourselves in the winter time. But in the long ago time, the Chinook wind failed to come. A young orphan boy and four of his animal elders went on a hero's adventure to find the source of the problem, which was the bear who stole the Chinook. The snow came early and lay on deep. The cold blown bitter made the women weep. Our men tracked hard but could find no game. In our children's bellies with crying pants. And our elders gathered in the even dawn. They prayed and waited and looked. Little did they know that way up high The bear had stole the Chinook A ragged orphan boy living alone Called to the animals in his home Howling magpie flew on in With coyote and weasel there was four of them as her council met, the magpie called as her hero shivered and shook. He said, my relatives told me so. The bear has stole the Chinook. Our hero's journey to release the wind turned west to the mountain bear's den. For days they teamed and traveled along. Together they did ascend up to the den that held the Chinook. The grizzly snored and snarled in his sleep. <laughs> Owl crept close into his lodge, peeped. Ooh. Ooh. Bear punched Dow's eyes with a stick. So they sent in a brother who was lightning quick. As the weasel slithered easy through the hole, he found the elkskin bag of the crook. The bear in rage roared, go away. I'm the bear who stole the Chinook. Then our friends made meadows and smoke appear and blew it in the grizzly bear's den. The big old grizz fell fast asleep. His coyote crept on in. He found the bag where the wind was kept and pulled it to the light of day. There a prairie chicken picked the stitches out. Then the Chinook blew on its way. The Chinook blew on its way. The bear burst suddenly from his sleep. Our friends all fled, their job complete. Well, the bear in vain pursued the wind. But the warm wind never was again his friend. Now the bear sleeps underground the winter long in his lodge, he grumbles and looks back to the days of the winter war. Back to the bear who stole the Chinook. To the bear who stole the Chinook. I'm the bear who stole the Chinook. Jack Gladstone, great to see you again, and great to hear that tune. You do incorporate a lot of elements and legends from your heritage in the music that you play and perform around the country. Yeah, that's uh, right. One of the, I think, the richest sources of material uh, to write songs is from uh, the pool of uh, mythology or the pool of legend, um, the pool of history that is the uh, uh, part of our American experience. And my uh, father is from the Blackfeet Indian uh, tribe. My mom's actually a German American, so I like to reflect upon my Blackfeet uh, heritage as well as some of my uh, German American heritage. I have a song on the new album called um, The Roman Road 
that actually um, uh, reflects upon the time when the Romans were conquering the uh, people in northern Europe. You know, we're all tri a tribal people. Some of us are just separated by a hundred years, others are separated by a couple thousand years. You grew up in one of the most beautiful parts of the United States, the glacier area of Montana, up north of Kalispell there. And I believe the next song you're going to play talks a little bit about your childhood and, and about your family. Yeah, I'm uh, going to so sing a song that was written on the morning of my grandmother's funeral back in 1980. My grandmother, who was the granddaughter of Chief Red Crow, who was the source of um, our Blackfeet uh, mythology and oral tradition to her grandchildren and to her children, told me these stories. And it is uh, because of my grandmother that I'm doing what I'm doing today. This is a song uh, called Speak to Me, Grandma. Speak to me, Grandma. I'm alone in my thoughts. Speak to me, Grandma. You're at home with the thought of a wind blowing up the top of Divide through the valley of our old St. Mary. You have thrice earned the rest that you've got and the cross your fingers carry to beyond. Now I really can't believe that you're gone. Speak to me, Grandma. Stories blossom in you. Speak to me, Grandma. Legend blended with truth. And your words brushed a portrait for us in the valley of our old St. Mary. Your eyes were the light for us when our bodies couldn't carry us beyond. Now I really can't believe that you're gone. You felt the buffalo go. You heard the stagecoach roll. You saw booming Alton rise and fall. You rode your pony apart. Moccasin flat at centuries dark, trails became roads, and the roads became old. We listened to the stories that you told. divide through the valley of our old St. Mary. You have thrice earned the rest that you've got and the cross your fingers carry to beyond. Now I really can't believe that you're gone. Oh, I really can't believe. I really don't imagine. I really can't believe that you're gone. Jack, I love that song. I've listened to it many, many times traveling the country myself. It brings back an image of, of majesty and an image of family that's very, very wonderful to reflect upon. Moving to the east a little bit, you've got a new song for us. A lot of people think of Montana as, as mountains, but uh, 
when you go back that way towards North Dakota, you, you find a lot of plains too, and that's where this song comes from. Yeah, this, this song is called Old Shep, and Old Shep was the uh, uh, sheepdog that actually waited for his master to return uh, at the train depot in Fort Benton, Montana from 1936 to 1942. The master had passed on, but Old Shep kept the faith, and four uh, times a day when the trains came in, he checked everybody coming off to see if his master was there. So this was uh, written for the dedication ceremony, Old Shep. Not so long ago, outside of Fort Benton was a tailboard of a faithful friend. As the train pulled away from the station with the body of an old shepherd man. Through his final years on these Montana plains, over pasture and highland, through hard summer rains, old Shep ran beside him, tending the flocks. Patrolling the range, old Shep slept beside him, ever alert. If the silence did change, a thousand sunrises were met with old Shep. The fall came, the light grew dimmer for the shepherd man when he reached the town. And old Shep could sense there would be a long journey to a meadow space where peace is found. Down in a bed in Fort Benton he lay. His spirit departed, but his body stayed. And old Shep walked beside him as he carried his casket up to the train. Old Shep tried to climb on board but they pushed him away to the station platform. Here a separate trail was met by old Shep. How many nights, how many days would your partner wait for you? How many seasons would you weather the storm? Your companion was long overdue. For over six snows, old Shep waited, and through five springs, there was no return. He met each train that rolled into the station. His faith remained. His candle burned, but then on a cold, dark wintry day, our hero rejoined his best friend. Now old Shep is beside him, tending the heavens, patrolling the range. Old Shep stays beside him as the seasons revolve this big sky of change a faithful friend we won't forget old ship Jack, that song of yours reminds me of some of your companions on these long trips. Yeah, a couple big black labs. I've always, I've always had them ever since I was a kid. You not only perform in concert situations, Jack, but also in lectures where you talk about the legends that you draw your songs from, and also many environmental presentations where you talk about the interaction between the land and its people. Yeah. One of the most popular packages that I've been involved with in uh, my touring and in my marketing is uh, residency packages where I go into a community or a college and then I have an opportunity to lecture maybe for um, a sociology or an environmental studies or a cultural anthropology class 
during the day, maybe do a school program during another portion of the uh, 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 day, and then in the evening time do a concert, which both of them kind of feed back directly to the attendance at the concert. But I deal with these uh, issues from a cultural standpoint, since there is a lot of basic principles that were involved in the traditional life ways of our Indian people that are worthy of being incorporated into mainstream America as a whole. So that's what I'm uh, promoting uh, gently through my words and through my music. And that's really what this next song is about, is how we're all connected and we all have a responsibility to each other and to the land. Yeah, this song is called Circle of Life. It's a, uh, an honor song for uh, the planet, uh, sometimes metaphorically referred to as Mother Earth or Earth Mother or Mother Nature even. The circle of Life. <laughs> Space in the center of a trillion stars. There's a circle from which we all have come that reflects who we are. From the circle, we hear her season sing, enforcing harmony. And from this song, we know her love and all the earth receives. From the snow pack in the her blood flows with the spring Forever the sun's a lover A songbird choir sings She's a circle of life She's a womb of the sun's creation She's a forehead wife She's a harvest of every nation She's a mother of every life born Through each day and each night With the Father she gave the earth for She's a circle of life In our paths of time we share the sky with those Living beneath the waves, this motion is unseen. All life around stems from the green, and green all life abounds. We step for dance and speaker's song when each season sounds. From the snow pack in the highlands, her blood flows with the spring. A gray wolf choir sings She's a circle of life She's the womb of the sun's creation She's a forever wife She's a harvest of every nation She's a mother of every life born Through each day and each night With the father she gave She's a circle of life. She's the womb of the sun's creation. She's a forever wife. She's a harvest of every nation. She's a mother of every life born through each day and each night. With the father she gave the earth for. She's a circle of life. 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 Jack, I asked you to sing this song. It's one of my favorites that you've written. And I think all of us as artists and as human beings hope that we create 
or are associated with something in our lives that outlast ourselves. The original intention of the song is funny how it happened. Uh, my um, uncle had passed on, and I was sitting there in the morning of his funeral, and everybody's telling me stories, and I was about the, his life, and I realized that we are remembered by what we build. And he was a stonemason, and certainly what the stonemasons, bricklayers build are around much longer than their own lives, the builder. That we climb to the summit of the mountain, we do find there are heroes, there are fools, there are builders ever reaching for their tools. With their tools, they build the walls that stand solid, fresh, and tall. You know, building is a risky thing to do. When the work you perform outlasts you Through the romance, through the dance Over rolling plains of troubled circumstance Into the journey we are born Always keep your dreams alive over the storm and may your dreams for the time survives you. We remember your warm grin and the trickster that would make us smile again. You build bridges, you build walls, but now we find you've built your spirit in us all. Through the joy and through the pain, through the loving, through the rain, sometimes rainbow colors aren't easy to see. How you forgive and how you love is the key. Through the romance, through the dance, over rolling seas, a challenge circumstance. Into the journey we are born. Always keep your dreams alive over the storm. And may your dreams for the love that survives you. Through the romance, through the dance. Over rolling plains of troubled circumstance Through the journey we are born Always keep your dreams alive over the storm And may your dreams for the love that survives you Our children carry the love that survives you. Jack, this is a tune that we chose to do together by a fellow who has certainly influenced both of us. Certainly has, Mr. Gordon Lightfoot. This is a tune called Cotton Jenny. We're going to play it in the key of G. And if you have an instrument handy, I hope you help us out. There's a house on a hill by a worn-down, weathered old mill in a valley below where the river winds. There's no such thing as bad times with a soft southern flame. 
Oh, cotton gin is her name, and she wakes me up when the sun goes down. And the wheels of love go around, wheels of love go around. Love go around, love go around. A joyful sound. I ain't got a penny for cotton gin to spend. But then the wheels go around. When a new day begins, I go down to the cotton gin and I make my time worthwhile to them. Then I climb back up again and she waits by the door. Old cotton gin, hey, I'm sore And she rubs my feet while the sun goes down And the wheels of love go round Wheels of love go round Love go round Love go round A joyful sound I ain't got a penny for cotton jenny to spend but then we'll go round In the hot, sickly south And the sea will shut my mouth I can never be free from the cotton cry But who I've got what's mine With a soft southern flame Cotton Jen is her name And she wakes me up When the sun goes down And the wheels of love Go around Wheels of love go round Love go round Love go round A joyful sound I ain't got a penny For Cotton Jenny to spend but then wheels go round Wheels go round Round and round Round and round Wheels go round Round and round Round and round Jack Gladstone, thanks for coming from Montana and sharing some of your tunes with us. Thank you for helping us out on that song. I'm your host, Tom May. See you next week.